Do you have $185 billion? Elon Musk does, and he surely knows how to lead one exceptionally productive way of life. Of course, his daily routine is not all that's behind his major success and ultra-luxurious life, but it definitely wouldn't hurt to take a page out of his book or schedule. So, here is how Elon Musk usually spends his days. Good morning, Elon. Elon Musk usually wakes up at around 7 o'clock. That's actually more like sleeping in when it comes to industrialists and entrepreneurs, as they typically wake up as early as 4.30 to 5 o'clock. Still, for Musk, it's not important when he wakes up, but rather how much sleep he had the night before. He aims to catch at least six to six and a half hours of Z's, as otherwise, the South African genius had to find out he's tardy and grumpy. And though Musk has has more waking hours, he's less productive. Usually, the SpaceX founder is not one to lay around in bed. He doesn't waste time getting up and usually even skips breakfast. Still, when he does have the time, Musk enjoys scrambled eggs or omelets, something that has a high value of proteins. It's common for the genius to have a protein shake in the morning instead of solid food. Elon believes proteins are food for his brain and sticks to a primary protein diet. While not every morning is accompanied by food, Musk almost always has a morning cup of coffee. Already one thing we have in common with the real-life Tony Stark. After breakfast, if Elon has time, he usually spends half an hour or less doing yoga, going out for a jog, lifting weights, or practicing taekwondo, karate, judo, or jujitsu. While Musk doesn't particularly enjoy training, he understands the benefits they bring him. Moreover, these activities allow him to focus on the tasks for the day ahead. Even though he does skip his morning training session when he's busy, he never misses his morning shower. That's a sacred tradition for Musk, as this is when he gets to think about new inventions or solve problems. This is actually one trick you should definitely steal from the Tesla CEO, as it's highly efficient and costs practically nothing. To finish his morning routine, Elon will spend some time with his kids when they are at his place, helping them prepare for school and see them off. Time to work. Just like any other person in the world, Musk also has to work for his money. Unlike most people, however, Elon makes roughly $45 million an hour. Unfortunately for him, no one would employ a person looking for a cool $712 million a day, so Musk is forced to work on his own projects. Luckily for him, his projects are not painting garage doors or selling useless junk on the internet, but more into the space exploration industry, electric car manufacturing, and others. Musk is the CEO and founder of several highly successful businesses, along with smaller businesses like OpenAI and Neuralink worth $1 billion each. Elon owns parts of the $5 billion Solar City projects and the entire $5.7 billion worth The Boring Company. He also enjoys spending time on the $20 billion social media Twitter, which he also owns. However, that's not where he's going going right after sending his kids to school. Instead, he goes either to Tesla or SpaceX, his two most significant investments. Musk owns about 13% of Tesla, currently worth around $592.7 billion. While he's not the majority shareholder, he is the company's CEO, and it takes a considerable portion of his time, considering the roller coaster that Tesla's stock prices were over the last quarter. However, Musk prefers to spend his time solving problems related to space exploration. So naturally, his $137 billion worth SpaceX is also among Elon's priorities. Unlike most other people, Musk works roughly 90 hours a week, as he usually gives SpaceX 40 hours. 42 hours of his work week go to Tesla. The other eight are dedicated to various other businesses and projects. Whenever he's at SpaceX or Tesla, Musk dedicates his pre-noon tasks to reading emails and reviewing finances. However, what he really enjoys doing is is engineering work and designing. Thus, around 90% of his work for SpaceX and 60% of his work for Tesla are committed to design work. Lunch.
Lunch is not something Elon can enjoy too often. When you're trying to work 16 hours a day, it certainly helps if you skip lunch. Musk often wolfs down his lunch during an afternoon meeting when he misses breakfast. With a 90-hour work week, he rarely has time to spend on trivial things like eating. So during his lunch hours, Musk most often works on projects or solves new problems. Come the afternoon, Musk gets a bit more agitated due to the many meetings he has to attend. End. Afternoons The brilliant entrepreneur has frequently voiced his dislike of meetings. According to Musk, most meetings can be simply an email. Moreover, they rarely lead to inspirational thoughts or ideas. That's why Musk usually eats his lunch during these events, as he often refuses to take an active part in them. It's a bit weird for a business owner and CEO to dislike meetings so much. However, Musk went a step further and created a detailed set of rules his employees must follow if they want to call a meeting. For example, large meetings are entirely banned. As in Musk's mind, they serve no purpose. Frequent or daily meetings are also a waste of time and a big no-no in Musk's companies. The only meetings he allows are to discuss urgent matters or quarterly plans. However, the best part of his rules is that anyone can leave a meeting if he realizes he's not needed. Musk is known for doing so on many occasions. <laughs> Boy, isn't that the best rule ever? Going back home. For a man with such a strict schedule, Elon actually has a very flexible end of work time. He spends nights at the office and even weeks when there are deadlines. So it's not uncommon to see him sleeping on a couch or a conference table for a bit before getting back to work. However, when he's not buried in work, he prefers to get home to spend some time with his children. When talking about Elon Musk, one could easily be confused that he uses a jetpack or a teleport to get around. But alas, that's not true, at least for now. Just like the rest of us mortals, he also uses a car to get around. Well, Musk has at least 10 cars in his garage to choose from. Until a few years ago, he used a $4,000 1978 BMW 320i. However, in 2006, when he got triplets, Musk went for the more practical Audi Q7, worth approximately $12,500. Elon hated this car and was quite vocal about its instability on the road. This car inspired him to create one of the most secure cars in the world, Tesla. Today, however, Musk prefers to use his $121,000 Tesla Model X. It's the most practical but certainly not the most expensive model in his garage. There you can also see a Tesla Roadster worth $200,000, a Tesla Cybertruck with a price tag of $40,000, a Porsche Turbo 911 for roughly $173,000, and a Jaguar E-Type worth approximately $120,000. However, the spotlight in his garage is his mint condition 1920 Ford Model T, worth nearly $17,000. What a shame he rarely takes out his most expensive car for a spin. It's a 1997 McLaren F1 worth more than $20 million. This was one of the first extravagant cars that Musk ever bought, and to this day, he treasures it above all other vehicles in his garage. Well, a Tesla Model X still does the job, I guess. But what can you expect from a guy with $185 billion who prefers to live in a $50,000 cube? Nights If there's something Elon Musk loves more than his work, it's his children. He's split custody of all of them, and when they're around, he usually tries to spend as much time with them, playing games and enjoying the rich man's life. Still, it's hard to fit all his children in a 400-square-foot prefabricated, foldable home that costs only $50,000. This so-called home is a perfect bachelor pad for an undergrad student who just landed his first real job. For a multi-billionaire, not so much. Still, Elon is adamant that this is his home now, instead of his 16,000-square-foot, $17 million Bel Air mansion, nor his $23.4 million Brentwood Palace. Once home, Elon will stuff his face with some delicious food to boost his calorie intake. 
So Musk's eating habits are definitely not among the things you will want to take from him, especially since his only meal for the day is often at a banquet or a business dinner, where he can't enjoy gorging on his favorite French food or barbecue. He will wash it down with a Diet Coke. He will also take a glass of whiskey if he's in a business meeting. His favorite, however, is wine. Musk is an avid wine collector and loves to taste extravagant and highly expensive fine wines. He even had a collection of rare and pricey wines in his temperature-controlled wine cellar in his Bel Air mansion. When he has some free time and the kids are not home, Elon enjoys watching TV shows like Black Mirror and Silicon Valley. He also loves to watch anime, stating that Death Note is one of his favorites. Another of his hobbies is gaming, so he often unwinds with a joystick in his hands. His favorites are Cyberpunk 2077 and, of course, his only true love, Halo. If he's tired, he will listen to audiobooks or podcasts until he goes to bed at around 1 a.m. I can't speculate what he dreams of, but seeing what he creates, it's definitely something very imaginative. You might have noticed that Elon's day is predominantly occupied by work. Moreover, he rarely enjoys luxuries and prefers to live a low-key life. Care to see some other ultra-rich billionaires who do the same? Just click on the video to your left.